And when my girlfriend's asleep beside me, I'll do whatever it takes to not disturb her. And more often than not now, especially after 40, like 3.30 in the morning, I'll get woken up because I have to pee. <laughs> and then I'm like, you know what? Look at her, all pretty and sleepy. And I don't want to disturb her, so I, I, I'm going to risk a bladder infection. <laughs> and I just go back to sleep, right? And then about 10 minutes into my sleep, I start dreaming about peeing. <laughs> That's your body going, hey, asshole, didn't I try to tell you something a minute ago? And the minute you start dreaming about peeing, that's when you have to get up and go do it, because your body's like, no, uh, 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 we're not playing this game. And when I finally uh, agree with myself that I'm gonna go to the bathroom, I become the most stealth-like ninja human being you've ever seen in your life. I start edging towards my side of the bed. And while I'm doing that, I'm pushing up the blanket right behind her, you know? So that way it feels like I'm still there. And then when I get to the edge of the bed, I literally pour myself out of the bed. And then I get up, and then you ha when you get up to go to the bathroom, they're like, guys, you have to make an announcement. It doesn't have to be loud, it doesn't have to disturb anybody, but you have to say, I just gotta pee. Because <laughs> if you don't, and she wakes up and you're not there, she immediately assumes you're sleeping with somebody else. So, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a safety thing, it's an insurance policy. She doesn't have to react to it, she doesn't even have to move. You just have to say, I just gotta pee. She's dreaming. She's asleep. She's dreaming about playing tennis. <laughs> She's got a pig. <laughs> now I've made my announcement. Now I'm ready to go to the bathroom. I know where all the squeaks are on the floor, so I avoid them. <laughs> I tiptoe the whole way. And then when I get to the bathroom door, when you get to the bathroom door, guys, it's very important. You have to grip the handle firmly, very firmly. And I open it so slowly. I turn the knob so slowly that you could literally hear the spring inside recoiling. <laughs> like coil by coil. Bing, 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 bing. And you're like, shut the fuck up, door. But you're the only one that can hear it. And then when you get it unlocked, you have to open it swiftly. You have to push it open quick. You can't do it slow, just think it goes, right? So you gotta, and then, <laughs> then I reach around on the inside and I grab the handle and then I close the door slowly and then ding, 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 ding. <laughs> now I'm able to go to the toilet. I head to the toilet. Now when you get to the toilet, guys, it's very important. You have to pee to the inside of the bowl. <laughs> because you don't want to make, you, you know, there's no sense you go through all the tiptoeing and the ding, 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 and then she just, you just hear blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you got to pee to the side of the bowl. You don't want to break water, right? So you, you pee to the inside of the bowl so the, the pee just cascades into the water. And there's no noise. And then when I'm done, I take the seat and the lid and I close it. And then I flush, because I'm trying to mute the noise as much as possible. And then I stand there and I wait until the tank refills. Then and only then do I head back to the bedroom. I don't wash my hands. <laughs> all right, first of all, I took a shower right before I went to bed. Second of all, it's my dick. It wasn't dragging through mud all day. <laughs> Literally a minute ago, it was asleep on my balls. Just... <laughs> and just so you know, ladies, Nine times out of ten, when a guy goes to the bathroom in the middle of the night, we don't even use our hands. We pee like Superman. Just... <laughs> so then I tiptoe my way back to bed, and then when I get to the mattress, I put my shoulder on it first. You gotta put your shoulder on the bed, and then I put one leg up, right? So I got, so I got an even distribution of weight on the bed now, right? And then I just do this little jujitsu kind of roll, you know, just... I kind of roll my whole body and then I roll onto the bed and then boop, 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 and bam, my arm ends up right around her. And she has no clue that I left and went to the bathroom.
And we do it that way, ladies, because men respect a woman's sleep. Now, when a woman has to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, she doesn't give a shit if you haven't slept in four years. If she gets woken up out of her sleep, it's everybody's problem. They don't wake up and think to themselves, I have to pee. They wake up and go, oh my God, I gotta pee. And then she hurls the blankets, hurls the blankets off of her so violently that they come right off of me and I'm, I'm, I'm freezing, I'm freezing right now. What? And this beautiful, petite little woman leaps out of bed like a cat, but lands like a hippopotamus, just <laughs> boom, boom. Then she goes and finds her tap shoes because she wants to make extra noise on the way. <laughs> then she gets to the bathroom door, handles the boy, bang, bang, slips out of her hand, slams the door, whack. Gets into the toilet, goes, goes to lift the seat, it slips out of her fingers, whack! Loudest noise in the world. <laughs> then she sits down to pee. Now ladies, when you sit down to pee, why can't you just sit down and pee? Why do you have to sit down and go, oh! And you ever heard a woman peeing in the middle of the night? It's the loudest thing you'll ever hear in your life. What are you, cutting concrete in there? And then when she's done, she goes to flush, but she fucks it up and does a half a flush. And then you gotta sit there two flush, flush, flush. And then she goes to wash her hands and she knocks over a glass. Shit. And then, now she's done. And she storms back to the bedroom. Storms back to the bedroom. And she slams that bathroom door behind her so hard that it doesn't catch. It just bounces back open. And this asshole left a light on in there. So now there's a beam of light entering the bedroom. And she's stomping her elephant ass back to boom, 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 boom. She's 110 pounds. I don't know where all this weight's coming from. And instead of just getting back into bed like a normal human being, no, for some reason she turns into fucking Hulk Hogan when she's coming back to bed. I'm coming back to bed, brother. And she... And she slams herself on the bed so hard that my entire body bounces up. And then I go, uh, hey, is everything okay? Oh my God, did I wake you? <laughs> yeah, bitch, you woke everybody on the Northern Hemisphere up. 